Hello everyone, my name is Cherry. I do mostly luxury fashion and lifestyle videos. You might wonder why did I sigh in the beginning of the video and this is because I'm doing a video that might defeat the whole purpose of this channel and that is I'm taking a break from Louis Vuitton and it's not like an announcement or anything. It's that I realized that I'm taking a break from Louis Vuitton and I think there are many reasons. I'm not going off a of script or anything. I just wanted to do like a little chatty to chatty video with you guys. Let's be real. Like, I don't know how like some other like luxury YouTubers do it, but they seem to be so devoted to a brand, to all the like new items, new collections, like all the time. For me, my love for Louis Vuitton really started, I think last summer when I started having my own income and becoming like more financially independent. And I went for mostly pre-love items, but also when some of the limited editions came out, like the Christmas animation and mini pochette, those are really cute. And also the Chapman Brothers, I was a fan of those. These limited edition items really ignited the passion in me, but the recent ones I just don't feel for, like the like the Tahinian ones. Uh, I don't know, like, sure, pink flower is pretty, but... It's just not like there and I also tried putting an order for those uh, through the Louis Vuitton hotline but it didn't work and I was actually kind of happy that it did not work. Like I was kind of happy that they did not pull me out of the wait list because deep inside I really did not want to buy it. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it, it's weird. And then I also really liked the World Tour when it first came out. Like when you don't customize it, it's just like this. Uh, bag with like stickers the world tour uh, never full is like my epitome It's like my best Louis Vuitton purchase in my opinion, but then they came out with the like customize your own thing which Like sure it makes the bag very special, but at the same time it makes my World tour less special in my opinion because it's like not even limited edition anymore because anyone can go there and order it right now like it's not really limited anymore. Do you know what I mean? Like, it feels that I'm losing the passion for Louis Vuitton as of right now for its new uh, collections. Um, even the fragment collection with like the rainbowy hardware, it's so gorgeous but so overpriced. Like, that little uh, rainbow keychain is like a couple hundred dollars. What? I don't know. It's it's so difficult. Sure, I still buy pre-love bags. I think they're so well made and like coated canvas is just like such a genius idea. It looks really good, really luxurious, and it's so durable. It has sentimental values to me, especially because I first saw my mom carry these bags and I was like, well, I want to be just like mommy, like as the little kid cherry. But right now, the new collections, I don't feel for it. And sometimes I feel guilty because I say I'm making this like luxury fashion channel and I'm supposed to like chase after all these like new collections, like follow all these trends and show you guys like the first impression, the unboxing of all these like new items before everyone else, but it's not there for me and I don't want to force myself to buy something that I'm not going to enjoy or not going to like. Yeah, so I think I'm just going to name this video why I stopped buying Louis Vuitton or something like that along the lines of that like sure I'm still buying pre-loved Louis Vuitton I'm still trying to find that Louis Vuitton backpack but I'm really not feeling for the new items and it's really sad it's like I used to be so passionate about this brand I'm not sure if it's just I'm not into these new collections or did I grow out of Louis Vuitton I'm not sure what's going on with myself but I'm not feeling it Please let me know if you feel the same, like if you used to be so in love with one brand and somehow something happened and you fell out of love. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this video did not sound too depressing. I just wanted to let you guys know why I haven't been like, I guess, catching up or <laughs> following the newest fashion trends. I was never like that, like I'm always really late to the bandwagon because I always have to think clearly before I buy something. I hate regretting my purchases. It's like the worst feeling ever. And trying to sell something is also my worst nightmare. Like I do not want to sell things anymore. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so. And see you guys next time. Bye!